Can you relate to getting paid? Can you relate to getting paid? Can you relate to getting paid? I'm currency, I'm not a slave. Yeah, we got the keys to the kingdom, so how could they stop us? Yeah, we got the keys to the kingdom, so how could they top us? Yeah, we got the keys to the kingdom, so how could they pop us? Yeah, we got the keys to the kingdom, so how could they knock us? Yeah. Greetings to all God's saints. Today's scripture is Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Okay? God has control of your life. Okay, including me. And today I'll use the public bathroom and someone wrote on the door, stay positive, keep your head up and just love. That's what it was. Stay positive, keep your head up and just love. And... The other night I had a vision or a prophecy. Um, Somebody was, somebody was, um, I don't know. It was like, it was like a woman, which every time I say a woman, it be me, but it don't really be me. Like sometimes prophecies can go like this. You know, if you have visions and dreams like this, you know what I'm talking about. It be you, but then it don't be you. It's like you on the outside looking in. Like at first it'd be you and then you'd be on the outside looking in type dream. And so there was this woman and she was like looking at this property and she was trying to get people to like join in with her. It was like some real estate and it had a beautiful view. Like I'm telling you, like this was a night, it was like a condo or it could be the house or it could be anything. Okay. Um, this is not for everybody. So, um, but it could be for you if that's what you choose to do um, or that's what you're looking to do. That's one of your goals. OK, it's something that you you're trying to manifest. This could definitely be for you. So she was looking at a property. She's trying to get other people to like join in, like, you know, so they could get this property or have something together. And I guess they decided, you know, no, we're not interested. So like they just disappeared. And there was this man and he was like, I guess she was like, this is what I want. It's a beautiful view. And he just got it for her. Like, he was like, I'm going to get it for you. Don't worry about nothing. Like, this could just be God, too. It doesn't have to be a physical person. 11.22 on my clock. So, um... Yeah, I feel like this is going to be like a healthy partnership with someone. Okay, like God is sending the right people in your life at this time. Um, No more delays as well. Um, I feel like there could, you could have many things you want to do right now. But the purpose that God wants for you in this lifetime is is what's going to be your strongest is what God is going to push you towards. Like you could be like, Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, and it's almost like, like that vision gave me the sense of like, I understand you want to do everything by yourself, but God is going to send you help. Like, and the way that this came across is like, Maybe you couldn't get it in your own name at the time. Um, Maybe like you're like part owner. This man could have bought it for you and just like put you up in the. It doesn't have to be like that. Like it could be um, a lot of interpretations that um, I'm getting for this dream. It's like either way it goes, you're going to be set up. And you're going to have security and you're going to have a shelter and it's going to have a beautiful view (laughs) and it's going to be all for you. Okay. Um, Because God knows what you desire. You just 
desire love, unconditional love, uncircumstantial love. And verse 22, that's what it says in Proverbs 19, better to be poor than a liar. Okay, like I'm going to tell you once when you're chosen, when you're a child of God, that's what makes you chosen, being a child of God, having practice of integrity and morality. It's like you cannot lie. It makes you feel bad. Like it eats at you, you know, even though we live in a world where you have to, you know, do what you got to do to get to where you're going. But I'm speaking of lies to where it's hurting other people. It's going to be detrimental to someone else's life or well-being, you know, <laughs> y'all know. So, you know, so because sometimes you have to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? If you're on welfare, if you get government assistance, OK, we're not above that on this channel. OK, if you got food stamps, anything like that, because some people, they get on here and they be like, oh, we chosen. We above Section 8. We above government assistance. We above that. But they that's because they don't come from humble beginnings. And those are the people. A lot of those people, they're very judgmental. They're on here portraying like they chosen but they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like they came from, and not saying that just because you didn't come from poverty or you never had to like struggle that you're not chosen. It's just like a lot of those people, they have like, um, it's a word that was trying to come to my mind, like a predisposition or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so I feel like you fear God's wrath. That's why it says in verse 23, the fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rest content, untouched by trouble, because it's like. You've already learned certain lessons, you already know that. It's better to. Be obedient to God's favor than to be against to go against God's grain. You know what I'm saying? Because God, I, and I was thinking today, like, God, your fruit is the sweetest. Like, that's what I was saying to myself. Like, I was like, you have the sweetest fruit, God. God has the sweetest fruit, bears the sweetest fruit. So, um, you know that when you are obedient to the Lord, that that leads to a better life. And it's like you understand that laziness will get you nothing like you can't even eat this could just be speaking in verse 24 on depression you know makes you lazy you can't even get up you can't even eat you won't even feed yourself you know what i'm saying um so you could have been experienced that i'm sorry guys i'm trying to read the verse and try to um get more of the message um but verse 25 flog a mocker and the simple will learn prudence Rebuke the discerning and they will gain knowledge because if someone is trying to, it, that's their own life lesson that they have to learn. So you could be trying to teach people things or, you know, you're leading by example, or you could be trying to give people advice and people don't want it. They're rebuking your intellect. They're rebuking your knowledge. They're rebuking your discernment or your intuition. But just understand by them doing that, they're also going to gain their own knowledge just as much as you did when you weren't listening. <laughs> okay. Amen, saints. So um, it says, whosoever robs their father, drives out their mother, is a child who brings shame and disgrace stop listening to instruction my son and you will stray from the word of knowledge okay so god is just saying listen to the wise okay don't take from or drive out people who are there for you genuinely okay like even though people might do you wrong, still 
strive to live a balanced life, okay, with integrity. Listen to the discernment of the wise, okay? And don't worry about people who are wicked and and they're doing things and saying things, being a corrupt witness, as it says in verse 28. Basically, um, they're lying and spreading rumors and gossip saying that they seen something or witnessed something, um, being a false witness, basically, you know, like, for example, like in court, like they're going before the judge and what is it? Perjury, committing perjury on your name. Penalties are prepared for mockers and beatings for the backs of fools. Because for people to sit there and be like, oh, you're not wise. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not chosen. God doesn't speak through you. God didn't tell you, didn't send you here to tell me, to teach me. That's going to be their own life lesson and detriment. Okay, so don't hold that um, shame or guilt in your heart for their lack of wisdom and humbleness to not only because everybody you know what's that saying when they're like it's too many chiefs and not enough indians that's what is giving like their own lack of ability to be led regardless of how old you are okay so, um, and this could also be about, you know, taking care of your elders too. Cause you know, I'm getting that sense of people just, um, you know, you had a great father, you had a great mother, a great elder and people just leave them. Cause I worked in, um, hospice and, 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 uh, dementia care and things of that nature and, um, healthcare, home healthcare and things of that nature. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who just, leave their parents, leave their grandparents, and they're just waiting for them to pass away. Like, that's just so messed up. And I feel like that's what God is talking about in Proverbs. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't abandon those who look out for you, okay? But also don't allow them to take advantage because I'm running out of time, you guys. I love y'all so much. I hope you guys got some gems from this message. Um, Through Christ we unite. Until next time, stay aligned with divine minds, y'all. Just know that God is in control.